Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to be showing you a game I had in the Patriot. Uh, so as I do at the start of every game, I open up Team List, see what I'm dealing with, and I see that I'm top tier in a heavy tank on a small map, so even at the start of the game here, I was pretty confident I was going to have a decent game. Now while I'm just moving to position here, I just want to address something, which is, like many people you'll be watching on YouTube, you're going to see a lot of the same tanks feature on my channel in the future because I am grinding the chisel contract and I'm actually at stage 7 now which means you can only use tier 9 and 10 tanks and all the tanks I have that work for the chisel contract are all at tier 10 which means you're going to see a lot of the same tanks and I apologise if that's boring to some people but you need a lot of XP which means I need to play a lot of games and probably means you won't see too many lower tier replays on this channel, but there might be one or two. So as I'm getting to position here, I'm in a Patriot, I've got 10 degrees of gunner pressing, good turret armor, I know exactly where I want to go, I'm going to head to this corner here. Now, an enemy medium tank's been spotted around the corner, so I'm just going to pop out, and put a shot into him, and now I'm going to start side scraping this corner. Now there's Tiger 2 coming up here, and Tiger 2's frontal turret is only 185mm thick, so what you're going to see is, I messed up the first shot, but I'm going to try and pen the Tiger 2 through the turret. But, I'm just going to keep hitting his gun, keep hitting his mantlet, and I'm not going to be able to pen him throughout the entire thing. So, that thing about the Tiger 2 having a weak turret armor against me? Apparently not. Now, as you'll notice, as I'm shooting him and fighting the 416 Tiger 2, I keep looking to my right, and that's because I want to make sure, as you can see there, that no one gets any side shots at me. So I'm going to start backing up now because I can't safely side scrape that corner without um, the potential of enemies shooting me in the side. So I'm going to try and help get rid of these light tanks. You're going to see a really bad shot here. That was terrible by me. The light tank didn't even do that drastic a maneuver and I still messed it up. Actually wasn't expecting to get the kill there, hence why I went for the tracking on him, but... My team failed to kill him. Now, I'm going to use this position as a hold down position. And I don't want to drive out, because again, in case I get shot from the flank. Had another attempt at panning the turret of the Tiger Team, and bounced. Now the enemies are pushing out quite aggressively, and we have the advantageous position on them, so... He realises straight away, and runs to get back into cover. The Canova makes a mistake here and pushes a bit too far out, giving me just enough of his track where I can track him and damage him. And now we both got him. And he also can't get his gun round the corner properly to get a proper shot at me, but after he fires, he realises that he's in a bit of trouble and he repairs his tracks, but not before I ammo rack him. Now I'm not giving up at trying to pen through the turret of the Tiger 2, so I can manage to squeeze a shell into his lower plate there. And I'm going to try and side scrape. And I'm going to get shot to force his team as to bounce him, so I've got a fairly decent position here. I wasn't actually sure where I was aiming on the Tiger 2 there, because the bus was in the way, but I've actually got a decent shot into his track and into his tank. I'm also not sure how the ISM penned me there, because I thought I was um, the front hull of my tank was protected from the... ISM from the side of the building there. I've got a great position on this Tiger team. Now my clan mate Luke's down there in his defender, and I know the 416's coming round, so I'm going to pre-aim the corner, ready for the 416. We all get a shot into him, which with the defender's 440 alpha, it's actually a lot of his health gone straight away. We're actually down um, a lot of tanks here. The enemy have a significant numerical advantage over us. ISM can only see my turret. Doesn't actually pen me or do any damage, but he breaks my gun, which is fairly annoying. And now I realise, given the number advantage, we need to start killing tanks quickly. So I'm going to rush over to join Luke. I'm going to try and deal with the 416 and the Tiger 2 first, as I feel they are the easier targets to deal with. 
Now I see the ISM coming round on the mini-map and I decide I've got to push and we have to kill these two as quick as possible. I do take a shot from the 416 doing so. But taking guns out of the game quickly, trying to even up numbers, get rid of the Tiger Tome. Get to a side scraping position. This was actually quite a dangerous move by me because if they're already in base, he may well have had a shot at me, but I get rather lucky and they already don't actually manage to loop a shell over at me. And as you can see there, I'm actually looking at the base in case he does shoot at me, so that if he did fire, I'd be able to see whereabouts he was. And now I'm quite nervous, you'll see me quite carefully peek around this corner. Because if I get spotted, I want to be able to back up in time to avoid the artillery sham. Now it's a 3v3, a Defender and a Patriot versus a KV4 with a stock turret. And a low health Tiger 1. We pretty much had the game in the bag at this point. And the comp manages to finish the Tiger. Now throughout this game I kind of just held one side of the map um, with Luke and his Defender. And the point is, is that I wanted to use my tanks advantages which was I knew I had the gun depression and the turret armor so I found a position where I could aim down at the enemies and I could side scrape safely from because I knew that the artillery wouldn't be able to get a shot there without moving to an extremely dangerous position. Now, I feel like this game was also a good example of again the damage per minute of this tank. On that corner I didn't have the alpha damage to deter them but you saw with the Carnarvon and the Tiger 2 I was able to track them and keep them tracked which was a very useful thing to have. And I don't know if you noticed, but I only fired one premium shell this game, which means that I actually make an amazing profit. With zero silver boosters, I make a flat 167,000 silver, which is really good. High caliber for 5,000 damage, steel wall for block just under 3,000 with four kills, and a base XP of I think it was just over 2,000. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.